So now that you've learned what I expect for your sentences, your own definition, prefixes, suffixes, and versions of the word, you're ready to do your word maps with um, words for homework on Mondays. So it's time to pick new words and I'm going to ask that you challenge yourself here. I know a lot of you like to pick easy words that you're already using because it makes life easier on you for homework. But it doesn't actually make life easier on you because you're not learning new words. And this is a great opportunity for you to increase your vocabulary, which is going to help you with reading and writing and speaking and help you understand the world. So you can choose to be lazy and that's your choice but it's not going to help your grade and it's not going to help your actual vocabulary. So think about that as you're picking words. When you do your word map, you put your word in the middle. In the first box, you want to put a definition and a picture and I'm going to ask that you put the part of speech. So swim is a verb. The definition that uh, I looked up said to propel the body through water using limbs or using fins, tail, or bodily movement, and I drew a picture to help me remember. These are the same sentences and definitions that I worked on in your last lessons. You saw as I looked for versions of the word, and then synonyms and antonyms. If you don't know them, you can find them in a thesaurus or dictionaries or on the internet. Obvious was the other word that we worked on together. And the reason why I drew this as my picture is because I thought if I made the word obvious, obvious among a lot of other letters, it would help me remember. So as you remember, when we talked about prefixes and suffixes, those are attached to a root word or a base word. So these two words don't have any, but there are different versions of the word. So by learning this word, I'm also learning some of these. Now I decided to do a couple additional words, and one of them is humility. And I'm going to be talking about humility a little bit in class, that's why I picked it. So it's a noun, it's a modest or low view of one's own importance, humbleness. So I drew a picture of someone who just won first place. And even though she's thinking about how proud she is and she feels good about herself, she says, good job, everyone, and she's not bragging about it. That's what humility is. I wrote my own sentence because when I looked up on the internet sentences for the word humility, I found that they were trickier than what I could write myself. And the whole point of this is to help me learn the word. So if I pick a sentence that I don't understand, it's not helping me and that's pointless, so I wrote my own. And synonyms, antonyms, and humility is actually a word in itself. It's not, there's no root word in there. It's, this is the root word. And there aren't any versions of it. So that's it, I'm done. And definite also does not have any prefixes or suffixes. I drew a picture of the sun rising because the sun will definitely rise tomorrow. My definition is just for sure. If something's definite, it is for sure it will happen. And it has a lot of synonyms and antonyms. So what's exciting about this word is I can learn a lot of other words at the same time. So in order to clarify a little bit with prefixes and suffixes, if my word had been swimmer instead, the suffix is er, so I double the consonant, I add er to the end, and it changes a verb to a noun, meaning a person who swims. If I had obviously instead of obvious, then it would be an adverb instead of an adjective. It describes the way somebody does something. And my suffix is ly. Same thing here, we've got a prefix that changes it to mean the opposite, that it's not definite. So on Monday, you're going to have five words and you're going to need to do all five words just as I've shown you here. 
So if you need to watch the video again, that's fine, and take a look. But you must choose words that challenge you, and you must choose words other than the ones I've already shown you. Your secret code word is Beetlejuice. <laughs>